okay guys welcome at a new video in this video i'm gonna show you how i kind of found a way to fix the rounded button problem in tkinter uh, so yeah stay tuned and let's get started if you go to premiere pro or photoshop you got these rounded buttons and they will turn white if you hover over it uh, i'm gonna recreate that i think a little bit i made uh, two buttons here oh, it's very poor to see uh, this is the first one, and this is the another one, and if you see what I mean, this is the inactive, and if we hover over it, it will load the other one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to recreate that today, I hope. Okay, so I need to import uh, tkinter, of course, so I'm going to say from tkinter import star, and then I need import another thing, and that will be uh, image. So uh, I'm going to set, uh, say, from pill, import image, oops, image, and image tk. There you go. Okay, then uh, I'm going to create a root, root equals tk. There you go. Uh, root dot geometry, I'm going to set that to 1280 times 720. Uh, okay, I'm going to create a canvas as well. Uh, root, and then the background will be uh, 1B, 1B, 1B. Uh, so we're going to pack the canvas to the screen. So fill will be both and expand true. Oops. True. There you go. Okay, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the images. Um, so button active or inactive um, will be um, image dot open and here I'm gonna set the directory so buttons and then button in active dot png make sure your file is png otherwise it won't work okay uh, then I'm gonna set another one button button active to image open uh, buttons and then the same thing active dot png there you go okay so now we loaded the images now we need to make some make them transparent so we can do that by typing root dot and then the name you uh, defined here so button inactive make sure root is in front of it otherwise it won't work and then we're going to say image tk dot photo image and then button inactive there you go so uh, i'm going to set the other one as well so active equals image tk dot photo image button active there you go oops um okay so now we did this uh, i'm gonna set uh, a function and that will be a function that uh, is binded with a button so we're gonna say uh, on enter make sure you pass in the event argument so yeah, otherwise it won't work because it's a binding. <clears throat> I'm going to say button.convic image will be root dot button uh, on enter. So it will be active. Yeah, active. Okay. Uh, on leave. So when we... Uh, so when we leave the uh, button area, we only set it to inactive again. So the image then will be root dot button inactive. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna define the button here. Uh, we're gonna put it in root uh, with a uh, image of inactive, of course. So root dot button inactive. Okay, so the uh, background of the button uh, will be going to be the same as here. 
So I'm going to copy it, paste it in here. There you go. Okay, and then we need to pack it to the canvas. So canvas to create window. Uh, we're going to put it in the middle. So 640, 360. And the window will be button. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, root dot main loop. Uh, what we need to do then, we're going to need to set, set the width and height for the button. So the width, width will be uh, like 300. The height will be 250. Okay, so that. Uh, so run code. There you go. So now we got this. Uh, this is actually not what we want, obviously, because, yeah, it is like this. It, is it, uh, we, we see a border. Uh, so uh, what we need is to set a variable BD to zero. And now that border is gone. So we don't see it. But we do see, though, is a rectangle around the bottom. And we don't want that. That's what this whole video is about. What we do see as well is if we click it, the button is actually animating like down. And I do not want that because that's not here either. So I'm going to uh, set the relief to sunken. And then it won't do that anymore. Then it will stay at the same place. Okay, so that's nice. Then I need to, yeah, I'm going to bind the button. So button got bind to the function. So enter. Uh, I'm going to set on enter. And then button dot binds. Oh, I don't want leave. Uh, will be set to on leave. There you go. Okay, then we need to set one more thing because if we... Uh, click on the button now We see the background is still like rectangular and yeah um, What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to 150 Is that better? Is that to Yeah, that's better. Okay uh, Then I'm gonna set the uh, active background Oops Background to the same color as this. So I'm gonna copy it again There you go and now, if we run it, and then we click on it, nothing will happen, but we actually clicked the button. I'm going to prove that by uh, setting up a uh, command here. Oops. Command, and that will be um, pressed. There you go. Um, def pressed. Um, and then... Print, yay! And then if we run it, we actually pressing it. You can see it prints yay out. So this is actually how you make rounded buttons in uh, Tkinter. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I never did this before, so yeah, don't blame me too much. Uh, but I hope you liked this video. If I kind of helped you out, uh, make sure to like subscribe so yeah thanks for watching and bye bye